please first question, which is, is it a violation of a person's rights for an employer or potential employer to force someone to give a Facebook password? I think that it, it is potentially a violation of um, a general privacy right. There is nothing I can think of right now in Virginia that would protect an applicant um, if they say no and then they don't get the job to automatically go and file a case. I think this is emerging now as the new hot topic mm -hmm. and there's a lot of constitutional protection but there's not one particular statute that I can think of to protect the employee. I think the safest thing um, is that the employer not resort to this because it is such to me a slippery slope for the employer. An employee could potentially say it's because I gave you my password that you and you learn that I was on an MS chat and that I'm disabled and therefore you didn't hire me and then there's an EEOC charge so to me it's opening the door wide for um, very very good plaintiff oriented lawsuits against the employers yeah I mean just because it hasn't happened it's because this hasn't happened it hasn't before, happened so yet and right um, and I'm guessing a big issue we don't need to know can a person legally be forced to give no you can't you can't legally be forced to give that you can however it, it appears that what happened to the the gentleman in Baltimore is that he wasn't offered the job and I would imagine that if an employer attempts to put this policy into place while they have current employees and the current employees refuse to give the passwords that the employer may fire them and then there's going to be a what I would propose to do if, if I were that person's lawyer is um, file a wrongful termination charge based on a Virginia public policy that there is a constitutional protection um, under the 14th Amendment, under the Fourth Amendment to not be terminated due to your privacy rights. But it really would be new law. Mm -hmm. So that might lead to this um next question she had about it says both the Stored Communications Act and the Computer Fraud Abuse Act prohibit intentional access of a person's private online information but does it make it illegal if a person agrees to give the employer their password? That's my understanding of those acts as well. Um, I, I believe one of the act and I'm not sure which one just deals with the government anyway so this mm -hmm. would not necessarily apply to a private employer um, and those acts while they were good at the time they were made are all pre the internet going absolutely nuclear. Um, I mean, there's now, I believe, 600 million Facebook users, and most of those Facebook users do check in during their workday while an employer is paying them. So certainly there are excellent um, resources for the employer to say, you know, while you're at work, I have control over your computer. And I know certainly at this firm, my employees understand that there's a policy that if, it, if they're at the work time, I can, if I wanted, to log on to their computer and see what they're doing. I have no right to ask for their private password, however, and log on to their home computer, nor do I have a, I don't believe, I have a right to check their Facebook. I can, of course, go onto the public photographs on their Facebook and, and think to myself, why would you ever post something like that? But um, it's very different in the, in the private sector than it is in the public. Sure, that's not, and that's when you're already hired, though. You can go and look at them. They, I, I know at Wavy, I'm sure they could just pull up they do our all computer the time. from another computer, and we don't even know that they're watching what we're doing. And in lawsuits, it happens all the time. I, I tell the people I represent, you know, either go dark or make everything private because the lawyers on the other side are going to be checking out what you're doing on Facebook. And if, if you're being silly or unreasonable, they can use that against you. Again, that's the public part of Facebook. Well, and specifically, we have laws in this country that say if I go for a job interview, you cannot ask me, um, do I have children? You cannot ask me, uh, what is my religious affiliation? The things that you cannot ask me, but by giving that password, I'm basically giving all that information, generally. I, I think so, too. I think you're basically letting someone into your bedroom to go through your drawers because I may belong to a temple and I may not tell my employer that I'm Jewish because it's really none of their business. Um, I may belong to a chat line on um, uh, rights of women to have abortions and I may not tell my employer because it's none of their business. They're going to know if what color you are. They're going to know your gender. Uh, they really don't have to know your age. 
Um, and they don't have to know who you're speaking with. I mean, that opens up all my friends on Facebook because they're so in your private. Uh, now, I will tell you, I do not have a Facebook because I'm too paranoid, but of course my children do. And I understand there's email when you're private, and those people that you email would also be opened up to your employer and their conversations. So I, I just think it's absolutely over the top. Yeah. I, guess, I guess by them asking, though, are they are they asking me those questions that are illegal to ask just by asking for my password? Yes, and that would be um, a, a basis for the public policy exception. That's exactly, that's exactly your point as well taken, that while it hasn't occurred, that infers that they get to open up all this private protected activity by me, mm -hmm. that they don't have a right to know and they can't use in making the determination whether or not to hire me or to keep me as an employee. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm disabled, they can't use that against me. If I want to have children, they can't use that against me. If I belong to um, a coven of witches, there's authority, they can't use that against me. So m that's an excellent point. If they're asking, don't they automatically get to know that information? And can't they then use that against me? That's why I can't imagine recommended, recommending to any employer that I might represent to take this step, because I think it opens up litigation. Okay. Finally. Um, Schumer's bill is being drafted, but what what would you like to see in this bill that would fill in the gaps there in these acts or, or create something where we can, and, and with technology continuing to explode, mm -hmm. um, you know, it may not last very long, but what, what would you like to see at this point? I think in order to try to get a bill like this, and it's a fantastic idea, we're finally addressing this, there's scholars so much smarter than me who have been saying for years now that we need to get a, a clue on internet privacy because it is the new correspondence for people and they have a right to um, expect. It's an expectation of privacy when I mm -hmm. talk to a friend on the internet unless I'm not being private about it. Um, but certainly the bill should address I think both the employer and employee individual rights and concerns. If we don't get the employer on board, I don't know that it's going to be passed because of the exceptional lobbies they have. So I would submit, representing both sides often, mm -hmm. that um, employers have a right to, while their employees are working on the job, not to expect them to be posting on Facebook and wasting the employer's time. So for that, if you're working on my computer, I have a right to see what you're doing. However, that's not going in your private world nor is it um, um, allowing me to learn anything I wouldn't have learned that you hadn't put out there publicly. And you then, as my employee, have an expe expectation because I have a policy telling you that I own your time while you're at work and I get to see where you're going on the computer. That's very, very different after hours. It's very different before hours. It's very different at lunch. And every employer has a right to do something like that with the expectation. But there is never a right for an employer to ask for a password to get into someone's private life. That just seems to me that the Supreme Court has not, of course, addressed this, but they have addressed privacy rights of individuals, and they've always come out very, very strongly for privacy rights. So I can't imagine that this won't be corrected by a bill or the law. Great. Anything else that you can add?